Hello and welcome to a new episode of UT Untold Stories. In this episode, we're going to discuss the High Pressure Lab, one of the oldest and most mysterious buildings on the UT. Let's go. The HPL is a state-of-the-art, one-of-a-kind research facility where experiments can be conducted under high pressure. The HTL consists out of multiple parts. Behind me is the high pressure part with eight specialized high pressure bunkers. In the central hall, there is a museum dedicated to the history of the high pressure lab and even a canteen. To the left of me is a workshop where they make all of the experimental setups. And if you follow me down this hall, there's the process hall. The HPL has a rich history. The idea of having such a lab facility started at the founding of the university. Back then a group of researchers visited the Hochdruck Laboratoire Schloss Berlinghoven in Bonn to get some ideas. The initial building started in 1964 and on the 10th of May 1965 it was finished. To find out more about the HPL and why, we met up with Tessa, researcher at the HPL. Hi Tessa. Hey Ede. Thank you for showing us around today. Uh, where are we right now? So we're currently in the process hall of the high pressure lab. And this part of the facility is actually not so old yet. During the renovation in 2015 this was built. And before that it used to be a small lab facility. But now it's a process hall where we have several pilot scale setups. And why would you want to do experiments under high pressure? Well that's a good question. There are multiple reasons actually. Uh, the first one is that some processes only run under elevated pressures and temperatures. So if you want to study these, then a high pressure facility is crucial. And what is another big advantage when you go to higher pressure and compress the gas, the volume becomes smaller and you can go to more compact setups. We then move to a different location in the process hall to discuss the current pilots. So Tessa, what kind of research do you do? Yeah, so here in the process hall we have several uh, pilot plants. For example, over there we have our small pyrolysis pilot plant where we convert biomass into pyrolysis oil, which you can then use for other applications. Uh, furthermore, we also have several setups dedicated to the study of direct air capture, which is the capture from CO2 from the atmosphere, and they are located over there. And last, I'm standing here next to our fluidized bed setup, uh, which is used to study the removal of CO2 and H2S from natural gas. From the process hall, we moved on to the high pressure area, the core of the HDL. As this is way above my level of expertise, this is where Tessa takes over. So welcome to the high pressure area. Here are the high pressure boxes located and we're now going to take a look inside. Safety is very important in science. That is why we work in these special boxes. These boxes have very thick concrete walls, which allows us to work under these high pressures. But besides having these special boxes, we also need equipment which can withstand these harsh conditions. Since the beginning of the high pressure lab, we have used autoclaves to conduct the experiments in. Autoclaves are special designed vessels, which you can use to perform experiments under the high pressures and temperatures we actually use here. They come in a variety of sizes, bigger ones like these, or for example, the smaller ones, which you can find in this setup. In the meanwhile, on the roof of the high pressure bunker, Rumor has it that in case of an explosion, the entire roof can come off of the HPL. This is however not true, only a small part can come off, which you can see here. But to create all of this pressure, you need to use compressors, and these are like fancy bike pumps. Right, Tessa? Well, Hidde, sort of, but actually no. We are currently in the compressor room, the heart of the high pressure lab. This is where the magic happens. Here we have two compressors which compress all the gases we need towards the desired pressures. The pressures we can deliver here are up to 600 bars. To give you an idea of how much that actually is, the pressure we experience in our daily life is approximately one bar and here we can go 600 times as high. Behind these big steel doors are the buffer vessels that house all of the gases after they've been compressed in the compressor room behind it. We're currently in the workshop of the high pressure lab. Here we construct all the setups that you just saw. From milling the exterior to connecting all the electronics of all the devices is all done here in-house. 
But this wouldn't have been possible without the technicians that work here. They have a tremendous amount of knowledge about working with high pressure, how to construct these setups and much more. This place would not be the same without them. Now it's time for some fun facts in the high pressure lab. Did you know that the HPL was probably the first location in Europe and perhaps the world that used computers to automate the research process? Did you know that over 3.5 kilometers of stainless steel high pressure pipes run throughout all the facility and that we have over 240 high pressure valves? That allows us to have pressure in every corner of the building. Which brings us to our final fun fact. If you cycle past, you've probably seen it before, but it isn't actually used as a chimney. The architect decided that 40 meter tall chimney wouldn't be nice aesthetically wise, so now it's only 20 meters tall and supports some air ducts. When you pass the HCL, you'll see this blue monster. It's a compressor of the 80s that we used in multiple research projects, especially one that involved absorbing hydrogen into hydrides. The boxes, the big compressor room, the buffer vessels and the pipe network throughout the whole facility make the high pressure lab very unique. It's a place for groundbreaking research and it will continue to do so for many more years to come. And now you know what happens inside the high pressure lab. Ha D L, D -L. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time.